dear viewers i hope you are all fine this ultrasound video shows a stone in the ureter and the reticulum of the urine, urinary bladder you can see the right kidney and it shows minimum to mild hydronephrosis with minimum hydro ureter as you will see in the later part of this video that the stone the size of the stone is very small and the stone lies in the distal portion of the ureter the stone in the ureter nearer the kidney shows mild to moderate hydro ureter but if the stone lies in the proximal portion of in the distal portion of the ureter if the stone lies in the distal portion of the ureter the intensity of the hydro ureter is small you can see the ureter shows very minimum hydro ureter and it is very difficult to trace the ureter but with repeated practices you can get a master of localizing localization of this ureter ureteric stones this is the ureter and you will see there is minimum hydro ureter as the stone size of the stone is small and the stone lies in the distal portion of the ureter near the urinary bladder you can see the ureter again it is very difficult to localize now this crosses the iliac vessels and this is the middle portion of the ureter right ureter now this is the urinary bladder and you will see a tiny stone a small stone of about 6 mm in the distal portion of the ureter near the ureterovesical junction the ureteric stones are the kidney stones that have become stuck in one or both ureters the tubes that carry urine from kidney to the bladder if the stone is large enough it can block the flow of urine from the kidney to the bladder this blockage can cause severe pain you can see this this is a small stone in the distal portion of the ureter and you will see the measurement of this stone this stone measures about 6.3 mm so this stone is small though so it causes a minimum hydro ureter with minimum hydro nephrosis now you will see the this is the prostate and now you are going to see the diverticulum of the urinary bladder now the diverti uh, bladder diverticulum is a pouch in the bladder wall that a person may either be born with that is congenital or get later acquired a congenital bladder diverticulum forms when some of the bladder lining pokes through a weak part in the bladder wall with acquired diverticulum many pouches often forms now you can see the diverticulum and in the left lateral part left lateral wall of the urinary bladder this is a diverticulum and it measures about 42.6 mm into 24.1 mm now you can see the communication between the urinary bladder and the diverticulum and there is a small amount of thick sludge seen in the urine present in the diverticulum this is the communication between the urinary bladder and the diverticulum this is the communication between the bladder urinary bladder and the diverticulum you can find some important information in the description of this video 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ़ यू डू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज़ क्लिक द लाइक बटन थैंक्स